Double and float are primitive data types for declaring floating point numbers. Double is more commonly used because float is not very precise. Variables declared as floating points can hold fractional values such as negative 1.25 and 3.1415. Floating point numbers embedded into Java source code are called floating point literals. You cannot embed dollar signs and commas in a floating point literal. Let's take a look at some examples. So here we're going to create some floating point numbers. And an example of a floating point number is the price of something, because it has a decimal number in there. So we can say double price and set something to $1.99. And it looks like that. And if the number was a lot bigger, like $12,000.99, you can just make the number bigger. But you cannot add dollar signs in front of it. You'll get an error. And you cannot also add commas in there. You'll also get an error. So the values of your floating point data types can only be numbers and a decimal, and they cannot contain dollar signs and commas. If you want to display dollar signs and commas, there are several ways to, dis to change the way that it's displayed, but, and it's not going to affect the value of it. So you can check out the video on using printf or the decimal format class for formatting the value of a double to include commas and dollar signs. So double price. It's an example of the double primitive data type. There's also float, let's say cost, and set that to $42.19. And float is going to ask you to cast that value. So in order for it to work, you can either type an F after it to indicate that it's a float, or you'll need to do what the quick fix says, and it says add cast to float and do something like that. So either way would be fine. So float cost 2 is It's a little bit weird, but it's encouraged to not even use float because when you're using floating point numbers in a calculation, double is twice as precise and you'll have a much better answer. So stay away from using float. Just know that it exists and it's not very commonly used. So use double anytime you're dealing with numbers with decimals or floating point numbers.